Hey guys, welcome back to We Watch Movie. I'm Mike. I'm Jay. And we have seen the deleted scenes from the Halloween 2018. I've seen the coming Ooh. of the Lord. I have been to the top of the mountain. It is good. Oh. So we've seen the shower scene before. Mm -hmm. It was a scene that you saw in the trailer that a lot of people were upset about because it wasn't in the movie. They thought that was going to be a cool scene because one of the journalists, the lady, is in the shower and then you see Michael and his mask walk up, which it looks like a dope scene, but it's just the other podcast. You know, but we got to be honest. I mean, it looks like they're shooting a head and shoulder commercial, but I don't think it'd be something that any guy would pass up the opportunity is to wear the fucking Myers mask. Yeah. Even though in reality, in that universe, he did slaughter like three teenagers with that mask on, and you're putting it on to try to like, I don't know, get sexual with your girl. I think I'm, part I'm of into him the hoped, kinky BDSM, but that's a little weird. A part of him hoped that, that his girlfriend was gonna release this wild and crazy side, and she was gonna be like, yeah, wear it. Yeah, while, you're, wanted it. while you're, yeah, while you're doing it in the shower. But let's be honest, I'm pissed about the whole thing, the entire movie, the handling of the mask was bullshit. Yeah. If you have that mask, you don't put it in your fucking satchel and just like yank it out like it's a piece of shit. Even if it's not, if it's this different universe, it's still a piece of history. You don't yeah. just treat it like I, that. I, 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 I'm walking mask. around like I had Coronado's Cross from fucking Last Crusade. <laughs> it belongs in the museum! But I can make a case for almost every deleted scene to be kept in the movie, actually. There's that mm. scene, and I thought it does show a little bit of a connection between him and her. You know, I didn't even know they were together. But with that scene, I kind of got the they gist were. of it. But, yeah. yeah, but with that scene, you get a little bit more of it. Plus, the, it's it's one of those fake scares that I hate in movies. But it would have been way creepier if it was actually Michael on the other side of the show. Or like but, a like a like a vision of him or something. Yeah, but. something. Another scene where they actually do show Michael, even though, like you said, it is a vision. You've got the scene where Jamie Lee Curtis' character, Lois Schrode, is standing outside. You see a little bit of this in the movie where she's shooting all the mannequins in yeah. her yard. Now, there's a strange point in it that I don't know why they even filmed that, where she stops and she drinks a, a strawberry smoothie. Yeah. <laughs> and you see her drink the entire shake. Because for... when you're shooting mannequins up, the only way to revitalize yourself is to have a strawberry smoothie from her <laughs> You literally see her chugging the whole fucking thing back. You're like, <laughs> no, God no. damn! But whatever. Uh, what's cool about she that? She had scene, a she had a hunkering for fucking milk. <laughs> I really wish they would have kept that scene in though, because after she walks inside, she's putting. Uh, you see the scene where she's sitting there in her tank top, looking hot. She's she's loading up her guns or whatever, but she picks up the revolver. She puts one bullet in, spins it, but then she puts it to her head and she considers shooting herself. I, that does show the damaged side of Laurie Strode early early on in the film. I mean, we, we get that throughout the throughout the rest of the movie, but it does show the kind of idea or where her mind is at that point. Like she's like, I've seen some shit. But then out of the corner though, you do see Michael like just standing there looking at her in the uh, doorway. And the fact that they revealed the mask really early in the film. Now I know that we saw it in the trailer and that's fine, I understand that, but having him already in the suit and yeah. just look now, I would have done maybe throw in, I don't know how you would have done it, but maybe if he was wearing the 1978 mask where it's smooth, that like cool. completely clean. That would have been cool. Yeah. yeah, and I get what you're saying too, because at that point she hasn't seen what the mask looks like today. Mm -hmm. So if you're watching that, you could easily say, uh, how the fuck does she know what the mask looks like She's or whatever? Psychic. Yeah, it was a creepy scene called Jog to the Dog. To the hanging dog. To the hanging dog. And that just sounds like something that, I don't know, Nickelback would come out with. <laughs> but. Look at this photograph. Every time I do, it makes me laugh. You see uh, Andy Matichak's character running down the street, just, you know, doing the normal calisthenics. And she, there's a dog hanging feet first fucking down on a tree. And they have the cool music or whatever. In the arms of the anchor. And that sets up the creep factor. because, And then you see... Michael Myers standing looking at her without the mask on. Now, again, I'm not really a fan of the scenes where he doesn't have the mask on. Even though they did have it distance-wise, it was kind of blurred out, you couldn't really see him. I, I mean, I wouldn't have shown that part, but I would have kept the hanging dog in there. Because, I mean, massive fans of Halloween would know what that was about. Like, Michael was like, you don't like to be eaten, you die from hanging tree. <laughs> see, I would have loved the whole scene to be in there, man, because, for one, the way uh, Dave Gordon Reed shot that scene, it was really well done. When you see the dog, it's a slow zoom up to the dog, and it's hanging upside down and these dudes are trying to pull it out but when the camera veers back to him standing in the middle of the street it adds this kind of element it looks like he's waiting for his uber it reminds me 
in Tales from the Crypt when the, the episode where the uh, Santa Claus escaped yeah. and is on the loose because it really just adds this extra scene where he's standing in the middle of the street and he's wearing the white gown and you can see James Hugh Courtney standing there just in the middle of the street. It creeped me out. And it also, I think it adds to what the first film had that none of the sequels had that it reminds you that it's not Michael Myers, it is Michael Myers, but it's an escaped mental patient. Mm-hmm. And I think that's something you forget about that's a creepy factor. And I thought that that added it really well. It, it almost felt like it. Michael Myers was saying, you like what I did? This you like that shit? You, you remember, you remember to that dog? A hanging dog? Yeah, had to do it. Overall atmosphere of the film, I don't think it would have taken people out. I think it would have actually made people more like, bam, yeah. it's fucking weird. Of all the scenes, I think that's the one that should have mm-hmm. been left in it. Uh, you see this the scene where you you get uh, an end to Cameron story, which we've done a reaction for. This one's been on the internet for a while. Oh, yeah. I hope he got his fucking ass ringed yeah. like Debo. And I think it's actually trying to make Cameron out to be a good guy because they mentioned, if you watch the film, there's several points where she actually mentions she's like, yeah, he was a great guy except for when he gets drunk because he's you know he's Lonnie's kid, their family has problems. He's a supposedly is a really good kid but he has some problems and they enforce that again when he comes up to her he's like I'm so sorry I, I fixed your phone I-, I didn't mean to throw in the nacho cheese whatever you're gonna I- beat me later on if I forgive you now right I thought so, was pudding the entire movie but it was it doesn't like tapioca yeah I thought it was pudding he has an argument which the cop with the cops which is kind of funny because the cops like shut the fuck up I like the cop though he was like why he's like because I fucking said so <laughs> it, that's that'd be me and Mike if we were like coming up on some angsty teenagers and like <laughs> get to your house and they're like why it's like Cause I'll fucking kill you. I'm a doctor, lock your doors. <laughs> but yeah, that that scene, I think that a lot of people wanted the comeuppance that he deserved, and he doesn't really get it. He just goes to jail, which again, you gotta only imagine that he dropped the soap and he got reamed. Well, there's one scene where the kids are just talking, and this was one of the first stills you got from the movie. And you get Dave, who has some funny scenes where he's talking about, yeah, she's going to let me come over later, and uh, she's going to pop my cherry. And then I'm going to clean her countertops. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that guy. Yeah, that, you know, that scene wouldn't have hurt the film overall. I, I think that fun. you could have added in. It just showed the interaction between the teenagers kind of setting up their likability and whether or not the audience would buy into their uh, companionship. Yeah. And it, it worked on, on screen really well. I, I, the, again... We're not directors, so I don't know how it works. I mean, in the cutting room floor, when you're actually editing the movie down, and you're like, what works and what doesn't work, I feel like maybe that would have worked, but at the same time, if you have extra scenes that you want to put in the movie, and you can only do that if you cut that out, I would do it for a heartbeat. However, it does build the relationship a little bit better between the three friends, not necessarily Cameron and... And what are name? And it adds against them trying to make Cameron out to be a better guy than he was in the final cut of the film because he shows up and he brings her a tiny pumpkin yeah. and he tries to talk it's to her whatever. And the acting's a little weird there. So I understand, of all of them, I understand that one getting cut out the most probably. The no. two cops sitting in there talking about the peanut butter and jelly sandwich and the baguette. And they were having their more, you know, it, it, most of it's all in there, the, the two cops having that moment. But it goes on a little bit further, you know, uh, when he's like, you know what goes good with the uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwich? A baguette or whatever he's got. He's like, what? He's like, IPA. <laughs> I mean, I was like, fuck yeah. That I thought, is- dude, I thought he was going to pull out a beer. I, I know. Like, yeah. I was like, that would have been like the moment. But yeah, the whole thing, like, I would have left that because they only cut like 25 seconds out of it. That entire scene is good so yeah. and i like that scene. i saw some people complain about the cops making comedy in that scene i'm like i like those yeah, kids in that okay. scene i thought they they're both they're both uh, charismatic they're both really likable i like their lines and it's not just because we love christopher nelson it's just because the, the scene was really, really good so good scene. i like that scene a lot but yeah the uh, the best of the scenes is definitely sartain picking his fucking nose booger shook <laughs> like he fucking digs that motherfucker <laughs> to china there's a scene man and it actually reminds me of uh, one of the best things to come out of rob zombie's halloween was the deleted scenes um, oh. uh, with uh, with uh, Loomis and uh, Sheriff Brackett. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it reminds me a lot of that because he's sitting there and he's talking and, it, and it's uh, uh, Sheriff Hawkins and he's standing there and he's talking to him and he's like, he's, he looks over and Sartain's like picking his, well, all of a sudden Sartain's- He's taking the shit out of yeah, it too. He was like, what's your obsession with this? And he calls him a creature, which I dug too. Yeah. Uh, Hawkins is like, what's your obsession with this creature? What's he out there doing? And all of a sudden Sartain's like, do you ever wear women's underwear? <laughs> Sart- Sartain tries to say what he's going to do. He's like, I know where he's going to be after he kills, but then uh, Hawkins is like, I know he's a dick. <laughs> so, uh, you know, and th- th- but it, again, it felt very like the whole interaction between those two, like the way that it was going. He's like, please, can you quit picking your fucking boogers? <laughs> like it, it felt like it almost felt like they were improving that whole scene, and it yeah. worked. The chemistry was there, and it was really going. And, uh, but I think maybe they were cutting it out because it was going into two buddy cop territory. I don't know, yeah. but I would have that would have been to me some good levity. But again, I understand that they wanted to keep it like. 
78 original and not have too much levity I in think it. where the twist ends up going and with what ends up happening to Sartain, it's hard to imagine him being so jokey, even though he has a couple jokey lines. But yeah, dude, he's sitting there getting into his nose and it's, Hawkins like, will you quit picking your fucking boogers in my car? I'm not going to name the person that I know in real life, but they will fucking do that <laughs> right in front of you. And they won't use their, their index. They'll use their pinky and they'll look at you while they're talking. But yeah. so... It, so anyway, what I'm saying, and then they'll try to wipe it on you. It's, like, the, Fuck it's, it's the one scene where I, it was the it was the funniest deleted scene. It was the funnest to watch, uh, but it's also the one scene where I do understand why they took it out. Because as you said, maybe it was too funny and too weird. But when he's like, uh, "Can you please not pick your boogers in my car?" and he was like, "I'm not picking my nose. I'm pointing at my brain." <laughs> <laughs> so guys, that's the deleted scenes. Honestly, uh, I, I've seen some people complaining and bitching about the deleted scenes in this. Like, well, oh, they're stupid. They're pointless. But with 99% of deleted scenes you get in movies, they're dumb shit. They're yeah. like, oh, a bird. Uh, like, you know, it's just the dumbest shit ever. With these, Crash I thought- Crash crew over there? Maybe it's just because we're really into the production of this film or whatever, but I found them all relatively interesting. And yeah. a couple of them really interesting. So I thought the deleted scenes were great. We haven't watched the documentaries documentaries on there yet. Uh, there's one about the, the making of the mask. There's one Legacy about- Legacy of Halloween. It yeah, looks great, man. I can't wait. Can't wait to check those out. So, uh, uh, well, you know, in overall, the deleted scenes, they're taken out for a reason. You know, for whatever reason, it works for the studio. Um, but three-fourths of them, I, personally, I, I think they would have been fine in the film. You made yeah. the film a little longer, which who's going to argue with that? Just make it a little longer. However, uh, at the end of the day, the only thing that I was disappointed in, and I know that Mike was, not a lot of us are, I mean, maybe eventually it will fix itself and, and we'll get that, is the alternate ending. I really yeah. did want to see the alternate ending and hopefully we get that at some point in the future. But Absolutely. It's, it, I mean, it was, it, we know it was shot. I mean, yeah. it was shot, so yeah. it's there somewhere. Maybe director's cut, something like hopefully, that. Yeah. If that was turns out to be the ending David Gordon Green maybe preferred. Maybe they want to do a director's cut. Maybe they just want to do a re-release two years from now and make some money off yeah, of it. Whatever. Who knows? Can't blame them. I'll still uh, buy it. I don't care. So yeah, guys, that's the deleted scenes on here. We would have reacted to them, but Universal would have ate our asses for that. And and again, and they're not it. online, so it literally would have been copyright, not yeah. like the trailer reactions that they ding us for. So we love your fucking faces. If you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button and get some goddamn wham opinion. And don't pick your fucking boogers, just subscribe. Fuck! I'm a doctor, lock your doors. Ah. We watched a movie. Yeah. We watched a movie. We watched it. We watched a movie. Yeah. You know what? We did a review. We watched a movie. Uh huh. Mm. We watched a movie.